Hello and welcome to Factorio Raw. I'm Kretio. In the last episode, yeah, that was the second episode in a row with problems. But the problems wasn't that bad. It was only that I forgot to, uh, I forgot that I needed uh, steel furnaces. So I have figured that out now. We have the uh, steel furnaces and those we need uh, 11 of. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we can go with this belt. Oh yeah, we have the uh, we have the red circuits that we feed back this way. So yeah, this episode we will get the uh, the blue science. Is it blue? Yes, the blue science up and working. That's the goal at least. Let's see if we succeed this time. For some reason this have been way harder to do than I thought. What? Oh, that's, <laughs> that is right. It just seemed... it just looked wrong. Okay, so we don't want that. We don't want any of this. And we do want some more belts over here for the steel. There we go. So now let's have a, another look. We want these uh, blue science packs. We need advanced circuits. We have that set up except the plastic. We need engine units which takes steel. We have that. It takes iron gear wheels. We don't have that and it takes pipes. We don't have that either. Iron gear wheels we need six of in total and pipes we need one. What's more we need the electric mining drill which requires electronic circuits we have that. It also requires iron gear wheels and iron plates. Okay so we have iron plates over here. What am I doing here? Let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. This is iron plates. Okay, but this is wrong. We should have the uh, iron plate. Uh, yeah, iron plates go like that, and then we go on over there. So yeah, we need engines. Uh, that's what we said. They are still over here. We need steel plates, iron gear wheels, and pipes. We have the steel plates over here. Do we need the steel plates for anything else, by the way? Or is it only for the engines? Let's have a look. Advanced circuits? No, they don't use any steel. Any steel engines? They are using it, yes. And electric mining drill? Aren't using it. Okay, so... All of the steel will go to the uh, oh wrong way. All of the steel will go to the production of uh, engine units. So let's get those in place. We need twenty one of those assembly machines, and I'm thinking let's go down a few steps. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Ah, that was a lot. <laughs> if we set these two engine units, come on, where do we go? There we go. It takes 10 seconds and we don't have a lot of stuff that we need. So, so uh, it should be fine just having one material on the auto line and that will be the uh, oh. that will be the uh, engine uh, the steel I mean oh no oh no <laughs> no I set all of this up wrong no okay 
Let's do it properly this time. There we go. Then we have the steel. And then we need another belt over here. Well, well we set up the, uh, the iron and iron gear wheels. It is, isn't it? Yes, iron and iron gear wheels. No, iron gear wheels and pipes. Okay, close enough. And then we get the stuff out here. To the right, of course. There we go. We still have plenty of both furnaces and assembly machines. Okay, so that, that is basically that. We have the steel. But then we need iron gear wheels. Yes, and iron gear wheels. Hmm, we want... Oh, let's get uh, some stuff removed from this station. Since we don't use... Oh, will that work out good? Since uh, we don't need the stone anymore. Well, we never needed it. But since we built a station for stone that we apparently won't be needing, we should uh, clear out those stations and get the oil in the proper location instead. So let's see soon. No. I knew that would happen, but please grab all of it. And then we can plug those two stations in. And I think it's good enough that we can actually... Uh, that we can fit everything. Let's connect the green wires. Yes. We can, oh, of course it is. Well, it's not of course because we have removed one of these stations. Yeah, so most of the things we are missing right now is the actual science packs. We need 35 of those assembly machines. But we are also missing, let's see, let's see what we have and what we are missing. We have... Uh, Copper plate, we have those 14 um, smelters. We do have the seven for copper cable. Iron plate, we need 77. We have 78 smelters, that's fine. We have five electronic circuits. We have, we don't have the oil yet. We need, let's actually just plunk it in. Not in the right space or anything, just like marking it out. We need those. Uh, we need two refineries. One heavy to light. Two light to gas. And two plastic machines. It's, it's kind of like getting the, uh, getting the space. Just to see that we have it. We have the advanced circuits in place over here. We need iron gear wheels. Let's actually build a bunch of those. We need six, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Oh yeah, and we can remove all of this. I thought we don't have space for the uh, For the uh, chest, apparently. Whoops. Yeah, never mind. We have all of the iron gear wheels. Uh, we have the yeah, iron gear wheels. We have the one pipe, which we only need one. Then we need five assembly machines. One, two, three, four, five. For the uh, electric mining drill. There we go. How fast are these? 
two seconds, that's fair. Then we have the steel plates and we have the engine units. So with this, oh, uh, and then we have the 35 science packs. Actually, let's build another station. There we go. Which is the loading station for the blue science packs. Let's grab those and that one. I don't know if I have enough space now. Yeah, it seems like I do. That's really good. Okay, and let's connect it connect it to the green wire. There we go. Yes. So now we have the blue. Let's rename it to like uh, research one blue load and then we want it to be blue. I know it's not the same blue as the actual science pack. Oh, actually we could make it kind of the same. Is this? Now let's just make it very blue. That's fine. And then since we discovered that these are kept, let's remove that. All we need to do, well, we need to connect everything, of course, but we need 35 uh, science packs. 35, science, uh, 35 assembly machines to create science pack freeze. And let's have a look at the map. Oh, if we go downwards, we have Bytos pretty close by. I don't like that. What if we... What is this? That's the... The red circuits. These ones... We could put them up here, actually, if we want to. Hmm, is that a good idea? And then we can move the red circuits up. We can basically move all of this upwards. And then we can move the... Uh, uh, what are they called? We can move the science pack assembly machines below those, actually. But let's see if we can fit them like in two rows over here. So 35, that's 17 and a half. Let's see what happens if we do it with 9 plus 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then again, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The reason for doing this is that we might need to go uh, between the assembly machines. And we need only one output. So let's do it this way. I know it's one machine too many. So here we have the output. And we just have to lead that up over here. Um, but of course we need to mark it to create the science pack freeze as well. There we go. So all that we need, well, all that we need, it sounds easy. We need to get everything together. Oh, and then get the plastic up and running. But we have, <coughs> we have these engine units. We need those. That's easy enough. We need the advanced circuits. Oh. For some reason, this is going the wrong way. And I was still putting them the wrong way. Let's see, we need... Oh, it's two per second. 
So, and one of each of these. We don't have to worry about space, really. So these we can... Oh, these ones we will use both for the... Um, for the electric mine. No, we will... Oh. Wait. Where are we using the advanced circuits? Not for the engine units, not for the electric mining drills. We are actually only using those for the uh, for the science packs. Oh, that's nice. I still think this is set up correctly, but this this should just go down, and this should just go down. And yeah, we might want to combine them or something like that. This is just markings right now. And of course, we don't want them to go down over here. So all that we are missing is the plastic for these, which goes over here. And we have uh, iron gear wheels for these. Actually, we have both iron and iron gear wheels. What do we need for these? We need iron and iron gear wheels and um, and electronic circuits. Oh, we need a lot of iron plates. Okay. Maybe we actually want to turn those around. Yeah, turn all of this around. Have one row with iron gear wheels. One row with minus. I, I think that could work. Create that. Turn it around. Plank it on there. Get rid of those. And then we have this one. Create it. Turn it around. And let's have a look. We have the iron line over here. We want to grab it somewhere. And I think this is a decent area to grab it. The pipes we only need for the engines, yes. So the pipes, oh, let's get rid of those. The pipes we can Oh yeah, that's true, that's true. We have the iron ore getting into the iron gear wheels. And we have the iron gear wheels coming out. Mm. Let me see, do we have... We don't need to fill that up. We don't... Oh, we don't need to use both sides of that. Let's do that, and then we are loading it onto this side. These ones, we get one every half second. Oh, we can do it like this. Um, we want it on the left side of the belt. Actually, that's, that's really easy. This is iron. This is the green circuits, and we need the green circuits over here. Okay. So if we place the pipe production, about here, and then we can grab a lot of iron. And then we Let's see, pipes, pipes, pipes. One per, so then we feed it out. And we can just feed it out onto that belt. Something like that. But for these ones, we don't want the iron gear wheels, so let's just have a split over here. Let's get rid of this lone tree. Mm. 
Yeah, this works, this works. And we are unloading the green circuits onto this track, this, not track, belt. We don't need green circuits anymore after this, do we? No, we need the green circuits for these ones. So if we just turn it this way, no, no, no. If we, where, or do we? No, yes, we do. We want iron gear wheels without the uh, pipes. Oh, maybe I should tell that this is for pipes. So let's go this way, we go underground. And then we go like that. That is the uh, green circuits. Here's the iron gear wheels. We just copy paste that. Oh. And we have that in place. So the only thing we need now is iron plates. And the iron plates, we need a lot of those. We can just get the iron plates over here. Something like that. There we go. We don't need any more uh, iron going. Or do we? No. So here we go. Here we have a belt with uh, pipes and iron gear wheels. Those, that belt we need to get done here. Oh no. Okay. So that should be most of it. And then we have the output of these. We can get that. Something like here. Oh. So then we have all the three ingredients for this, uh, for the uh, blue stuff. Good. And let's combine them later on. It's not, it's only one of each. We could even combine them and have one belt going around the whole thing. It's not, it's not that important how we do that. But what we need to do now is to get the plastic up here and we could go through the belts somehow that shouldn't be a big deal and then we are finished so let's do that mm, yeah let's keep these can we move them up well we oh wait i forgot that we want iron in on this belt but we don't need that one so that's fine. Iron in. We have iron on what belt? We have iron on this belt. Oh, we can't do it over there. Um. We could go back over here. That would look strange. I mean, we do have this where we get all of the iron. Why not just tap that? Oh, no. There we go. Now we have all of the iron for this. Uh, of course, we don't have all of the inserters yet, but yeah, that should be it. Now let's go and see what we can do about the oil stuff. This is oil to petroleum gas, petro no, oil to light oil. 
light oil to petroleum gas and plastic oh yes we need we need coal for that but we have the coal over here so that shouldn't be a big problem either the problem is that it's way too dark right now so how do we connect all of this that's what i'm always having problem with when it comes to uh, when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the oil stuff okay so if we do that and then we have an underground pipe oh we have an underground pipe over there i think we want to move this one step more to to the left and we have that good and we have an underground pipe good that works out uh, yeah, this we can move if we need to. We can move this whole setup a bit. Yeah, we don't even need long-handed insert so for that. We can move all of this to the left if we need to. And I will probably do it, no matter if I need to or not. So that's the first setup. The second setup is the uh, light oil. unless we we change this let's move it over there instead this is heavy to light oh that way and then it's easier to uh, weave in the, uh, the light oil i think at least when we think about space so we have it over there and we have the second one over there what we need to do oh oh no i mean light oil to petroleum gas we can put that like that put this like that we put that in like that and this in like that and we just fill in the holes fill in the gaps there we have all of that we also need some water oh come on there we have the water i don't know how to get the water here well that should be relatively easy we have the water over there good so and we actually don't need any water for this that's good oh 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 we can't have it like this because those pipes gets in the way of these pipes um then let's see what happens if we just move these down by one let's get rid of all of the pipes over here uh, light oil to petroleum gas we still can put it out like that that doesn't properly work okay let's move it the other way then Oh yeah did you see why it didn't work because when we connect the uh, oh. when we connect the light oil over here we are blocking the water input so that, that definitely doesn't work okay if we go like that we have those and then we have everything connected like that the problem is that i don't like it it kind of works but i can't run through over here oh 
Okay. But it should work fine for these pipes. Yes, it does. And then we have like that. Oh, and then I guess, why do we have it like that? No, we don't have it like that. We actually have it on the far side, because then we can connect those to each other without any problems. So that kind of works. Oh, but we need another. Well, we can move all of this down by a few, a few squares without any problems. That's fine. Um, so then we should have more or less everything. And I'm thinking, let's keep it like this. Oh, we need the water still. But this is too close. We, uh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Can just move this. Going to think of it. Let's get rid of it. And then we just move it a few steps away. That sounds. That looks about right. And then we have the water coming in here. The water goes on over here. We have it like that. And everything connects, I think. And then we just need to connect these two uh, plastic machines. We need to move all of this down, but that, that's that's uh, to be done. And I think it looks best to just connect them beside the other ones. And we can just connect it like this. Plastic. Plastic. That should basically be it. Well, we need to connect that and we need to get some Oh yeah, that's nice. We can even get the coal between those two, uh, what are they called? Chemical plants. But for now, let's move all of this down a bit. Of course, except this part that we don't want to change. Why does this look... I guess everything is right. It just looks wrong at the blueprint. Create that. Let's get rid of the stuff. And then we plunk it in place like this. Like that. Yeah. And oh. And I was in the way. Okay. Then all we need is coal to get down here. What is this belt? Oh, this is the belt we put in because I thought that we might be needing it, but we don't need it. So let's get rid of it. But what we do need is this belt, which is the coal belt. Let's grab all of that. Let's grab all of these belts. And then we will just connect everything. We still have that to do. And I'm thinking... Oh, wrong inventory. Whoops. Let's go over here. This is a bit tighter than I would wish for, but it's not a big deal. How long? It takes one second and one coal, so no problems at all. We don't need more than one inserter for each. Oh, and then we need inserters to get rid of the plastic, of course. 
Oh, we might need to move these a bit to the left, honestly, because those refineries, well, this refinery is in the way of that assembly machine. No big problem. Uh, yeah, so the plastic needs to go up here. And the easiest way of doing that, we don't need, let's see, no, we don't need to compress any belts for this. The easiest is to just go the shortest way. Well, not really the shortest way. Because we want to go over here. Like that. And then we change that. Yeah. Like that. Looking good. Uh, oh yeah, we want to move all of this a little bit to the left. So let's do that. We have this machine over there. And we have some inserters. We need to get things out. And right now is actually when we will move it. Because we have this kind of area. Yeah, we will have to move this belt manually afterwards. This kind of area. Oh, I might have forgotten to move some things. Never mind. We have that, and we want the output to be over here instead. Oh, that actually works. Nice. Good, like that. This. We don't need to feed it further than that. Goody. This belt we will do something with. And this belt. Okay, that. No, we need this to go further to the left. Well, this can actually go. Okay. This can actually go all the way over here which makes it easier because we only have one crossing so we can do it like that we can do it like that and then we have one crossing over there so we have this belt for the uh, whatever they are called the uh, mining drill drills yeah, and we got a bit more space over here i like that Okay, now all we need to do, I think, moving is to move these to the left, create it, just get rid of it and see where, where we want it. I think this is a good spot. Uh, it's enough of an area that we can have... Uh, Splitters split out to the left, to the right, to the left, and to go past, and then to the right and left. But it's not so much of an area that we can't. Well, this we can move to the left as well, so that's not. Okay, ignore that, please. So, what we need to do now is to combine these two belts. There we go, and let's go down that way, and then we have to figure out how to split this properly. Oh, that's my phone. Uh, they have to wait until I'm finished with this. Oh, we need to go up by one more. So the first split is between this side and the back side. No, 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 no. This split, we can do it like that. So this split 
Okay. Let's see. I don't know if this works out or not. We do it like that. With this, we just go down. No, not over there, but over here. So we have that. And then the next one, we just go. Yeah, this should work out. We just need to move these ones further to the left. There we go. And these ones, oh, we might need to move all of this up a bit. And there we go. One of those. This is about the ID. Now we have one belt in, we have four belts out to get stuff to everything. But then we have this belt that we need to do the same thing with. Oh, this, by the way, should go like this. That makes way more sense. Then we have the next belt. And let's not actually worry about where the belt is. We can move it up. We can move these assembly machines, no problems. We just want to make sure that we get this in the right spot. Because, of course, we need the same setup. We could move it to the right. Oh, let's keep it here. Then we have a one gap in between. So we have this that goes along to the other side. And then we have to f have to handle those. Actually, this one we just... Oh just do that which will I think make it easy to handle all of this and then we oh we need we want to move it one further two two steps further to the left I think so it should be over there instead then we get the underground over here no undergrounds over here. And we have an underground over here for the other belt. This goes yeah, from there. Actually, we just move these down. There we go. that oh of course I don't know what I was thinking actually it should be in the same uh, same space basically there we go uh, we remove these remove these remove these and actually we should remove these really to have one underground over here instead of having two underground going the other way yes so then we need to make a blueprint of these i think that's basically the, the same blueprint i already had but never mind Oh, I did it again. Okay, let's do an underground like that. There we go. And we should get one more underground like that. That goes here. There we go. And all we need to do is plank this down again. And we opted for a one space, which is over here. Goody. 
All that's needed now is to get uh, insert us here. And power. And power. We need a lot of power. And to get the, the junk out. Okay, we have quite a few things that's missing apparently. But I think this is... Oh, and uh, get the resources where they should go. Not least of them. This. Have an underground belt like that as well. Um, anything else? Anything else now that we need to do? Yeah, let's get the inserters in place. So over here we get copper. Oh, maybe we should get the copper belt going. There we go. And we have the copper belt over here. No. Wrong way again. Damn it. Okay. That should be it for the couple. Let me just get some inserters. Oh yeah, this is for smelting. Smelting is not fast enough that we need more than one inserter. For each... Uh, for each furnace that is. And I don't know how is it with this half a second. Oh, we can't see it with that one. Just for the sake of it, let's put two inserters. I don't think it's actually, it might be needed. We get two copper cables. I don't think it's strictly needed. But why not? And then we can get in the middle just a split or two. Make sure that we get stuff on the other side of the belt as well. Okay, then we should have all of that. These seems to be set up already. These ones. Now let's see. We get over here we have the copper cable. Which is... what? We have the copper cable that we need four of close by. Okay, that's fair. I got confused. I thought that we had... Ah, let's not do that. I thought that we had what we needed. A least amount of close by. So let's go like that. We need all of these inserters grabbing from both of the belts. And then we have to get stuff out of the system. Goody. And then we have the, uh, the steel furnaces. Oh, let's get rid of that. Getting stuff in. Getting stuff out. And we have the engines. Okay, let's do it like this. Actually, let's not. Let's do it like this. Uh, and then we make a blueprint. There we go. Then we don't need to do all of the inserters manually. We can do most of it automatically. And we get rid of that. Oh, I guess, and that one. I guess we need to extend this by one. And we can shorten that one. Okay. 
And then we have these in Sotos. Mm, let me think. That's the... Let's do it like that. We get everything like that. We get the long-handed in Sotos, which we don't have enough of, I realize now. Nope. Let's get this. Blueprint. Yes, thank you. Oh, there we go. There we go. And get rid of this. We don't want the last part of it. But we do want another part over at the right side. And this is correct. We are not getting any problems with, uh, with the wrong side or anything like that. This is a bit harder to get rid of. Eh, not that much harder, to be honest. Okay, now let's get the belts fixed. I think we are in a state where we have everything set up. We only need some tweaks here and there. There we go. Oh, and wrong way. And we need more long-handed inserters. Uh, this seems to be fine. This is fine. This is not. We need this to go further. That not to do anything. There we go. We have this. We oh, inserters over here. That's true. We might not even have enough inserters for this, to be honest. And then we need inserters over here. Do that, get rid of this belt. Then we need long-handed inserters and... Wait, no, we... okay. We need stuff coming in here as well. Yeah. We need to go and grab a bunch of long-handed inserters. Do we have any pumps? No, but we can create two. Which is what we need to get the oil flowing properly. Oh, we haven't built up the oil to the, uh, to the refineries. No big problems. Okay. As I suspected, we will not have oh, we will not have a lot of insertos. Yeah, that's true. I did tear this up. Was it over here or was it this one? I think it was this one. Oh, that's wrong. We need another insert of the. Then let's do that. Let's get. Some stuff in there and some stuff in there. There we go. Then we are feeding from that to both of those. Oh, they take iron plate. I thought, why has it stopped? But it's because of the iron plate, of course. And it should stop. I'm not complaining that it stopped. Now let's go for an inserter hunt. There we go. Stop, please. Oh, I thought we had normal inserters as he, uh, up here as well, but apparently not. When I'm saying normal inserters, I obviously mean the uh, the blue variant and not the insert of variant. Okay, then we just have to go over and collect a few hundred inserters at our. Uh, manufacturing area and the ammo production have totally stopped I'm bad I went the wrong way at least I was able to to uh, find the right button to go backwards into the <laughs> into the station oh damn it that's bad Oh, 
Oh well. 400 inserters, that should be enough. I think that's way more than enough, to be honest. Okay, uh, while I'm over here, how am I on trains? Well, I do have enough for one train, but I don't have any. Well, I have a bit of uh, raw wood. That's enough. No, 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 no. That's definitely not enough. I forgot about water and oil. Oops. So we have none of those. Okay, then let's grab five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight of those uh, for those two trains. And then we need locomotives. We need, how many locomotives do we need? We need three trains, that's six locomotives, and we have three of them. So that's like six. That's perfect. And we don't need any more rails. We have more than plenty of that. Okay, that should allow us to get everything up and running, I hope. Oh, we just need to stop. Oh, stop. Stop, stop. Map. You train. Please go to manual. Yes, you did. Oh, and you are in... I can't complain. This is totally my fault. Complete and totally my fault. Oh. The big problem, as it feels right now, is not that we got an exploded wagon. The problem is that we got... Uh, Oh, those trains can handle it. The problem is that we got this onto the track before we could do anything. So we just need to stop. And these will try to load, but that shouldn't be a big problem. Let's board that train, go to manual, reverse it to make sure that we get into the proper location then we go with this train stop this can go back to automatic goody we need to get rid of that locomotive and then we need to go back here and connect connect the train okay exit the train Oh, come on. And then go to automatic, please. You please go to manual again. Otherwise, I wouldn't dare to run past the tracks. You go to automatic. And we can continue. <laughs> well, at least we didn't die. It was a whole wagon of coal that went past. Oh, did this still have a straight rail. Oh, as proven by a train passing by. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, I need to get the train, uh, the train stuff going properly. With signals that stops when this train is coming. Because we don't want to have to keep track of that. Okay, so now we have all of the inserters we need, I hope. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the robots tells me so as well. At least they tell me that we need, we have uh, robots, uh, that we have inserters. If we have enough, it's of course impossible for the robots to know. Let's get rid of that and add that and I think that almost everything is done 
Are we missing any more inserters? Let's quickly walk around and have a look. I just assume we don't miss any inserters here or up there. Okay, so... Nut monkey, okay. This is... Oh, wait, wait what? Copy, paste, research one, coal unload. Great. Let's name these stations as well. Research one. Oh, we don't want. We don't know what to place here yet. I'm saying let's go for water on the top one because we need water up here and then oil on this one because it's only over here we need the oil yep let's do that mm. but before we get everything into place we do need some pipes and some other stuff okay let's get that going and then oh wrong way then about here i think yep there we go we could oh yeah we could do it like that uh, pump 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 we should have two of them there we go then okay so let's go for that like that and we we have one pipe over there good that's water that's done then we just need the uh, the oil which we have around here and i'm assuming we just place it like there Oh, this is actually too close to the rail tracks for my comfort. It is okay, but it is close. Pump, one more pump. Pump, 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 there we go. And we just move this, there we go. So this is research one water unload and this is research oh research one oil unload good yeah. so that's that and this one i think we have set up already yes okay before we connect anything we want to make sure we have well any resources I'm talking about. We want to make sure that we have lights and that we have power for everything. And we also want to make sure that we have uh, set up all, oh no, look at this. Setting up each insert, no, 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 no. I will do this another way. I will definitely do this another way. We need to set up the inputs properly um, and that we do with the green wire that's way too much to do manually what happens if we use the substation well we can power the first the first row and then the last row okay let's do it with normal power poles I guess and let's start from the top there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. How far can, can we get to the left over here? There we go, yeah, we can't go over here. There we go, can we just continue? No, we can't continue on that track, but that's fine. There we go. Oh, we need a power pole over there. So let's do it like this. 
and that should hopefully work for all of the uh, all of the copper stuff. Uh, then we just need to plank down power poles for the iron stuff. Oh, please don't tell me I don't have enough power poles. It might very well be that I don't have that, but please, please, I want enough power poles. And then lights. Let's place them above the power poles. Of course, over here we can't place them above the power poles because the power poles are placed in such a way. So let's place them below over there and I guess to the side, not have as much light in the middle. But the middle will be lit up by both sides, so that should be fine. Okay, that should cover all of this area. Um, and then, as usual, we make a blueprint. Oh no. Oh no. We shouldn't have power poles between these. We should have power poles between those, and then we need to change it further down. Okay, that's fine. Let's go with this, and then one two, three, four rows, yes. Is this correct? Yes, it is. There we go, there we go, there we go, but no, there we go. And then I guess we have to place the last power poles manually. Actually, 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 let's connect it now. Let's connect it to, the, oh yes, we got lights. Mostly to get the lights, but I also don't mind seeing if we are missing anything. I knew we would be missing these inserters. Mm, yeah, we need to place the power poles over here basically. Just opposite the other ones, but I don't think we need any lights over here. However, in this area, we can just do that to power all of it. And then put a few lights. Put the light over there as well. Okay. Now let's have... Oh, we have a gap of one and one, which is... Which is the worst, because we can't use these to get that, or to uh, cover that gap. But there we go. And we can place one over there. We can do... Okay, let's place one over there, and then we go like this cover it as good as possible. Or maybe... No, let's not. We don't need any on this, this side. We need them on this side. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. Yes. That about covers it. And then we need normal power poles for this area, I think. We might be able to sneak in. Well, we can get part of it done with the with these, but it's easier to just put in normal power poles. There we go. And some lights. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about lights over here. We should definitely have some lights over here as well. Mm, 
like that and I guess some lights at the bottom of this Okay, now we own these covers perfectly. Okay, now we need to cover this area with the final product. Oh, we should uh, put them all the way in there. And then a few lights, as usual. Light, 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 light. Let's get the lights put in over here as well. Light, 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 light. And then a few more of these substations. Oh, they cover. No. Oh. Well, it's not too bad. It's not perfect, but it's not too bad. Then we only have this middle part. You realize I haven't even marked this to create pipes. We only have this middle part and the oil stuff to, uh, to cover with uh, power. So let's see, what can we do with the substations? Can we cover it with substations? Maybe. Yeah, we can. Depends on your definition of covered. There we go. That, that way it connects up. Oh, and I was about to say everything should be connected now. Yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot about the oil, but I forgot to connect these ones to the <laughs> substations as well. Okay, there we have two connections. That should be more than enough. Uh, and then we have the oil stuff, and then we have green wires, and then we have the connections, and then we can create the trains. Okay, uh, another substation, maybe? Yeah, one substation covers it all. But can we put in one substation that... We can't put one substation to cover everything and connect it to the... To the power grid so yeah there we go we have uh, we need more green wires we need more green wires but we do have we do have uh, copper cable over or copper over here so let's just go and grab it oh it was actually quicker for me to run than <laughs> to get the the robots to grab it. Okay. As I... Oh! Oh, oh. I just realized that... The output wasn't connected. Okay. As I said before... I will not be handling this side of combinator let's make 10 of them I will not be handling this uh, with inserters for all of the materials and I don't think I need to I mean the way it is set up there we go we have set everything up so we have a few small er wait lights 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 we have a few small areas where we get stuff lights and lights over here and lights in the oil uh, we can't put it over there let's put it well, it's least in the way. Yeah, 
that should be that should be the lights we need for this I think yeah instead of setting it up for all of the inserters we are hopefully able oh we need another uh, another substation we are hopefully able to set it up for uh, for the input instead so we're gonna try that oh no did we get power failure no oh we don't get power failure on this factory coming to think of it we only get less power but since it's totally coal driven we don't get the full power failure yeah, let's connect it like this and like this so instead of setting up all of the inserters we set up the uh, the belts instead which should be way easier we set it up over there and then we have the copper belt we just set it up over there and then we have the coal belt which we have coming out over here we can set it up over there so let's have a look oh we haven't created the decider combinators but if we set up the pumps we know how to set those up if enabled condition should be m is equal to zero equal to zero good and can we do the same over here enabled if m is equal to zero then we get the belt to fix everything and not and not our uh, in, poor inserters this takes way less cable as well that's really good okay so i guess what we need now is to set up the trains oh we need to set up the Silo combinator. There we go. There we go, and we put in these. If the amount of oh red science packs is more than ten, just for a test run, then output M one. So now we shouldn't have anything in the system, but once we get everything started, actually let's output if blue beakers equals to zero. Output one n. Yes. And that means that this pump is off, this pump is off, and all of the belts are off. So we can actually go along and connect everything because nothing will be fed through the system anyway this is already connected we are just waiting for a train okay anything else that we need now let's have a look well we will get in trouble with pollution i know that and we might get biters attacking oh that's actually bad if we get that maybe we should place a few turrets don't uh, not that one this is the turret if we place it like this and then one in the middle two three in between one two No, 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 uh, damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. It's not too bad, but... It's... Oh, and then I got rid of... Ah, I'm bad. Okay, 
let's get this placed properly and then we place some turrets one two three four five and we don't want those in the middle we wanted to make a blueprint yes there we go and i'm thinking about saving this bottom part with uh, with the blue science packs that have to be the most important part to save and just put a bit of ammo into all of these turrets i do expect to run out of ammo but we have a bit more and let's give that back i do want ammo myself there we go so now we need to go and grab the trains let's see what did we set this if blue beakers equals zero then output one m that's what we want right now but not for long now we want to get coal oil and water train going and since I haven't learned the color codes for those, we just go over to our next base. I think I think this base have all of them. Yes, it have. So let's just oh, we might not have enough. No, we on do not have enough wagons for the coal. Never mind. We can do the oil and the water one while we are waiting so oh waiting and waiting we can do it over here send those off and then we do the uh, cold one a little bit later okay so if we copy this we get the right color and everything paste oh we don't have refueling for this but luckily we do have this uh, this coal or coal uh, deposit over here and we do have like a bunch of um, a bunch of trees in our inventory okay so we have set that up, we just want to change it from belt water unload to research one water unload until inventory is empty, get rid of that, please go to water. And then we're just waiting to place the next train, there we go. Uh, Place those and we have another locomotive. Other oh, problem is that we don't have any fuel for that. But we can copy paste and do all of that, all of those things while waiting. Copy paste and paste and this should go to research one coal unload no this should go to research one oil unload until inventory is empty and get rid of that we need more well no let's just use the fuel we have it might uh, it might empty out quicker but so what and you please go to oil and we can go on with this train to the left. The oil is to the right, so that shouldn't create any problems. We just go on with this train. Oh, let's wait for that. We just go on with this train to get another wagon and to set the coal uh, train running. There we go. Going to the right to find a wagon.
there we have that. And yeah, let's place it over there. Since we have coal, let's do it near the coal train. Of course, I had. Of course, I had to press the wrong button. Oh. Three, four, and we have the other train. Oh. Yeah, but this is coal. We don't need a lot of uh, fuel for that because this train will refuel automatically. Okay, so you go, you change the color like that, and then you go to research one, coal unload, inventory empty, get rid of that, and you go to coal, please. And then I go over to research one. And I just want to see that everything is working. Oh, I haven't built this part of it, I think. Let's do that while waiting. I do think we have all of the resources needed to do it. Oh, that's the coal train. It's getting more dangerous to uh, go by this rail railroad now. Okay, we have the water already. Nice. We should uh, soon, I think, have... Oh, no path. That's bad. Why don't we have a path? Research one. Yeah, it's that one. Hmm. Why don't we have a path down there? Let's have a look. That's bothering me a bit. That's not one of the problems I was expecting. Yeah, I mean, when we get out, get out of here, we can get go to this side and just go down. What? Let's park the old train in the middle of the intersection. It's not really being used that way, so it shouldn't be a problem. And then let's jump into this train and see what we can do about this. Because it's not good with no path. Research one, oil unload. If we go to manual, we should be able to go there. This train is way more heavy than the train we're used to uh, we're used to use. And this is the way it's supposed to be going, isn't it? There might be it might be, and it probably is, one piece of rail missing somewhere. No. No path. You are so close to it, and you still can't find a path? Research one. Oh, no. I know, I know, I know. It's the bottom one. And here we have the missing rail. Did you get past that? No. Let's go to back to manual. There we go. And you please go to oil again. Then you will refuel and then you hopefully will be able to get back again. There we have it. That's what's missing. And then let's grab our train and go the right way with that. Just go down. Okay, come on. We need the coal. Oh yeah. 
we can already see that train now the oil train it is going it's going it's going it's going it's going and here it comes containing 300k and in a few seconds it contains like 100k that's how it works with oil with uh, oil and uh, water okay the coal train where is that it is over here waiting for coal basically oh yeah we don't get everything to unload for the coal okay if you please go to research one coal unload then we can try it out see that everything is working or honestly see what is missing that's always the case and then we can figure out the rest of it later next trip you can go and grab all of the coal then i don't need you to to really go and uh, take your time and everything then you can well then i don't need you to be fast i mean then it's no problem if you take your time okay so we have the coal it's being unloaded and it should stop over here let's just build it up a bit there we go so if we now change this to say that if blue science packs is more than 60 then we should have 1m output that means iron works coal works plastic works which means that both this and this work and we have copper work works as well let's see that we get everything done that's the only thing oh we don't get any copper down here oh this belt is the wrong way oops you're always bound to make some mistake whoops okay and the ion ore is getting up there not completely but almost and that's good enough i think i think that if we wait a bit it will get all the way up these are outputting just fine do we need to split those no we are not loading that close to as full as we actually want to oh yeah that's true they won't hit the last furnaces because we don't have the uh, efficiency modules so well they are hitting the last furnaces now but it will it will need more iron later on oh and we have a train going to get iron we have green circuits do we have yeah we have a few uh, mining machines we have iron gear wheels we have pipes we have engines great that means we have steel do we have we have loads and loads of plastic oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no uh, uh, we have green circuits on the uh, iron belt that's bad that's not good at all okay let's go and i need to hoover up a lot of iron to get that fixed so i just want a chest where i can put copper iron green circuits copper cables iron gear wheels engines 
basically everything that we hover up. There we go, and now we need to get rid of the, uh, the green circuits from the iron belts. Let's just hover it up from over here. Hopefully that will get all of the green circuits. There we go, loads of green circuits. Uh, any green circuits going over here? Well, if they do, they will be picked up, so that's not a big deal. We do have engines building up. Wait, what? This is wrong. Let's get rid of that belt. Yeah, we do have engines building up, but I haven't seen any blue science packs yet. It's the advanced circuits. What? Is missing. Oh, we don't get any copper cables to those because the uh, yeah the green circuits is grabbing them all, and then we are going to the uh, to the mining drills that are grabbing all of that. Okay. Wait, what did we say? We picked up a few things. Let's put that back. Picked up those, picked up green circuits, we picked up iron plates, um, what did we more pick up? I think that's all, it looks like that's all. Okay, so we need to see... No, okay. Now the green salt is starting to build up a bit. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe only for the last assembly machine, to be honest. But yeah, we are getting mining machines. We are getting engines built up. We just have to wait for a little bit longer to have the... Uh, have the mining machines build up all the way over here and then we will get red circuits as well because hmm. I, I want to see this all the way until it stops to work which it should do a 60 of those let's change it to 15 instead that is the production of seven and a half seconds. Okay, did we pick up any mine or so? something like that? No. Well, we have we have the twenty four mine drills, but we had those before, I think, and we were hovering over here, so we shouldn't have picked those up. Come on. Create more mining machines, please. Not because I need them, but because I want to get rid of uh, more stuff. I want to get rid of... Uh, I want to get some red science, red uh, circuits being created. Okay. Let's change this. There we go. Now we are getting them into two uh, lines. One line for the green circuits and one for the red circuits. So the red circuits should be starting, but of course now we need to fix this underground belt. And we have picked up a few green circuits. Let's get rid of those and a bit of plastic. Yeah, now we get red circuits as well. Let's get rid of the plastic as well. There we go. Yeah, now we get half of the uh, half of the uh, copper cables or copper wires. What are they called? They are called copper cables. Half of them go to red circuits. Half of them go to the green circuits. 
So we are getting a bit of uh, a bit of blue science. Let's have a look. We have five, six, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we don't have enough electricity. Fourteen. We have more than needed. So now, yeah, everything is stopping. This is stopping. This is stopping. The oil. Well, we still have a bit of oil in the system, but the pumps are stopping. So that's that's how it goes. That's what we want. And I think we should raise this to the 240 that we have for the other science packs. So now we are getting blue science as well. Yay! Okay, and yeah, since we had stopped it, everything, well, everything didn't have time to stop because we have stuff on the belts. But now everything, uh, or the, the start stopped, the start stopped, the beginning of the smelting erase stopped, but now it's uh, fully going again. And have a look at this. We have two trains, two iron trains that have left and one copper train that have left. So we definitely needed a lot of resources. One iron train coming back, one copper train. Which one is this? That's the research. Yeah, so we have we are lacking trains. But we knew that would happen. Or we we had a hunch at least. How is the pollution? Oh the pollution is not too good, but not too bad either. The power we have to fix. Of course we do. Oh, soon the other copper train will leave as well. And we have run out of iron, more or less. Yep, yeah, from one of the stations. No more copper. Uh, iron, I mean. The other station seems to be okay still. And here we get some iron back. Oh, and this iron is emptying out now when we get the uh, the other ion station back so this oh i was just about to say that this is the way i want the uh, stations to work and then this happens yeah it's good that this happened now we know it can happen we just have to fix it but everything with the production is working almost well everything is working i just noticed that this and this and those and that and that and the top ones we don't need those uh, belts the same over here and over here but never mind everything is working thank you a lot for watching see you next time bye